Hey guys, so we're gonna have to make this meringue roulade one more time. This is um, uh, something that a friend of mine, Gary, a builder, who came to my house one day and made this meringue roulade and offered us to, for dessert. And it was delicious. And since I keep making it, I keep sharing the recipe to everyone. I've made it recently in Senegal and they all loved it. Uh, my friend in Dubai is doing it with fresh mango and you can alternate all the fruit inside and it's really always a hit because it's light, it's not too sweet, funny enough for a meringue and uh, it's fantastic. And even where I work here, uh, I've been making it and all those Frenchies loving it. So let's do it one more time. So I've got ready 200 grams of egg white in my mixing bowl and double the amount of the egg white of caster sugar. So 400, 200 egg white, 400 sugar. And now we're gonna whip it. In the mixer. So we're gonna start it. Oh, I need to plug it maybe. With uh, the adapter. There. So we're gonna start the egg white first. And as soon when they're going very a bit foamy, moussey, we're gonna start to add the sugar slowly, slowly. Okay, so now we can start to add the sugar slowly, slowly. Mixing it until it's nice and thick, yeah? I'm gonna pipe it on the parchment paper, baking tray. So not too thick. So that's good. So just like that. Now we're gonna bake it 170 for 12 minutes. So this oven is static heat, bottom and top, so there's no fan. So we'll see how long, but I reckon uh, 12 minutes will be exactly the same as a convection oven. Oh my god, I totally forgot to put the flecked almond. My god, let's put some flecked almond on top to give a bit of crunch. It's quite nice, the almond flavor. Uh, uh, back in the oven. So that was very close. Luckily, I remembered. <laughs> All right, so in the meantime, we're gonna whip some uh, whipping cream. So this is a 35% fat. It whipped very well. But I could find only a little pot like that of 200 grammage. So it's a bit, uh, lots of packaging waste, unfortunately. So we're gonna whip 800 gram, I think. Yeah, 800. With 80 gram of icing sugar or caster sugar. So 10% sweetened. And let's whip it. And why not a little bit of vanilla powder or vanilla essence? Just to make it even nicer. 
Okay, so I add two more minutes. So it's been 14 minutes in this kind of oven. <laughs> so you see it has colored a little bit. Um, it's a bit golden. So now we're gonna rest it on a rack. There we go. Just like that. And we're gonna let it cool down. Okay, so this now has cooled down. Okay. It has reduced the volume basically because it goes down when it cools down, it's normal. So I'm gonna just put a parchment paper on top. Just like it. And we're gonna turn it around. So I'm gonna use my tray. Up, turn it around. There you go. I'm gonna remove that parchment paper that we baked it with. Lovely. Okay, now it's time to garnish it. So, a firm chantilly. With a paper in bag, it's easier so you have the same thickness everywhere. So I have some whipped cream left, 600 would have been enough. Right, now, frozen raspberries, a bit everywhere. Little bit of fresh strawberry, here and there. So at this stage, you can use any kind of fruit you want. That's the beauty of this meringue roulade. Something I'd love to try with this recipe, it will be to make like um, a, a reviewed lemon meringue tart, a lemon meringue pie. So with lemon curd, some uh, chantilly with lemon zest, and maybe a piece, of, some pieces of crumble a bit everywhere and roll it. Might be quite nice. So now at this stage we got all the fruits and we're gonna put some melted chocolate a bit everywhere like that it's gonna set straight away so that will give a bit of pieces of crunch in between the fruits that'd be lovely just like that it's beautiful all right now we're gonna Roll it. So let's go pretty frankly. Let's not be scared. We tilt this corner first, then we use the paper underneath. And roll it, roll it, roll it. Until it's done. So this baby is gonna go on this dish. Oh, the dish is too small. I'm gonna go on the tray. The tray is too small. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I'm no. gonna have to cut it in half. So, there you go. Just as it is, up, transfer it there. This one on a plate. Beautiful. So now, on top of this meringue roulade, we're gonna put some little bit of chocolate again for decoration. Just like that. So it looks beautiful. I 
And that's it. Beautiful Mahong Roulade. Okay, let's try a slice. I went outside to become too noisy inside. Between the dogs, the children, the homeworks. So I went outside hiding. <laughs> and eating cakes. <laughs> wow. So that's the meringue roulade. Mm -mm -mm. With the acidity of the fruits, the creamy, the crunch of the meringue because it's quite crunchy. Mm. Such a good dessert. It's a cloud. Mm. That's all, guys. Enjoy.